Welcome to Construct Tech TV. Today I have a very special tech update for you. I'm going to identify the top tech trends that came out of the 2017 Inner Drawing Show. It was a really exciting show. And this includes everything you need to know about the regulations, secrets to operating a drone, go big or go small, growth predictions, and a fun fact I bet you probably don't know. First up, let's talk about drone regulations. There was certainly a lot of chatter on the inner drone show floor about all the changes in drone regulations. The small UAS rule, also known as Part 107, came into effect on August 29, 2016. These regs actually create new opportunities for business and government to use drones safely. So let's see what Chris Carodi, principal of DroneBusiness.Center, has to say what you need to know. Suddenly, as a business, a construction company, or a design firm, or a builder, you are operating an aircraft in national airspace. And that's something that most people don't have experience with that a lot of people find kind of overwhelming because Part 107 puts a lot of burden on the individual to comply, to be safe, to make good decisions. And I think that's, wrapping your head around that is, is difficult. As you all know, drones are certainly becoming very important to the construction job site. And at the Inner Drones show, I spoke with a number of drone pilots in construction. One of these was Chan An, construction engineer of the Hawaiian Dredging Construction Company. He brought up a great point that all construction companies might want to consider when operating drones near cranes. Let's listen to what he had to say. Especially one of those things you really have to careful when you're flying during a construction site is a crane. Actually, we have three cranes and um, two tower cranes and uh, one mobile crane, which goes up to zero to 4, 000, over 4,000 feet. And we're in the airspace that I cannot fly drone any higher than 400 feet. Um, so that's a lot of risk, actually, because you, you're, you're not like looking at the drone at the same level. You're on the ground and looking at the drone from, to the top and crossing your fingers if it's going to hit the hit the crane or not. So it's kind of scary sometimes, but it's, it's fun to do with it. A big trend we saw happening at the Inner Drones show was many drone companies were looking to go small. But brothers Joel and James Egan of the Egan Airships said small is not always the way to go. Rather, the bigger the drone, the greater the safety in data capture. Check out their big comments. So what you're trying to say here is you guys are saying that you can do things more stably, you can do more coverage, you can give longer flights here. Is this what you're trying to do, the ability that you could say you have a better range and distance for things and give coverage that maybe other things can't? A, a smaller drone isn't going to be able to reach is right. what you're saying. Correct. Range and coverage, and uh, it's uh, safer. That is, when we are unpowered, we drop about the speed of a parachutist, and that is really important when you have important... Uh, um, to, uh, tools and, and devices on your on your drone, you don't want to lose. Uh, then you know that that that's very valuable. So, will drones really substantially grow in the next few years? Colin Snow, founder and CEO of Skylogic Research, has some very interesting predictions. Let's listen to what he has to say. Well, there's a potential growth. So people look at the total addressable market and they say, well, there's $11.3 billion worth of capability that, and value that drones can add. Um, but when we actually talk to companies, we find that it's hard to put a number on it because many companies are not doing it for the things that I described. They're actually putting drones in place because of safety. Because it, what drones do is help those on site understand where things are built or where things are going to change. It helps the planning managers understand where they need to keep people out of harm. So actually what we see is safety is actually the number one. So, you know, there's obviously a value on 
the human life and value on, we see the statistics from OSHA, right, on the number of falls in the construction industry, and actually one of the largest industries where there are accidental deaths. So uh, people are looking at it first in terms of its safety value. Finally, I have a fun fact for you. Did you know that drones are a no-no in casinos? In fact, if you attempt it, you and your drones will be kicked out. Go figure. So if you and your drones are heading to Las Vegas anytime soon, you just might want to leave them at home. So that's our and your tech update for today.